Magnus. I, I just been hit with a revelation, okay? Now, I did a video on race mixing earlier, okay? And um, I'm doing a follow-up to it because this, this, this one brother put posted something. And you know when somebody posts something so simple? But you're like, damn, I never thought of that. That's what he said. Okay, I was talking about race mixing. I basically said I don't give a damn about it, okay? I mean, do what you want. And I'm getting tired of people, you know, fighting over it and this and that. But he got on the subject of basically how there's some black women that um, have a problem with black men dating outside their race, okay? So this video is dedicated to y'all, okay? But it was only dedicated to the black women that do these specific things that this brother mentioned, okay? And are mad at black men dating outside their race. Now look what he said. Uh, because I know a lot of black women do this. I was like, you, you, you made a really motherfucking valid point, brother. All right, so his name is Dad on him, 11. He said, I say to date whoever makes you happy. What's funny to me is that most black women do so many things to emulate white women, like wearing fake hair and colored contacts. He said, you send a subliminal message to black men that those traits are good. So why should we date a girl who is trying to look like another race when we can skip the self-hating black women and go right for the real thing? Why buy a knockoff when you can get the authentic? So don't stare at me when you see me with my white girl. That's a good motherfucking point. Right? I mean, how can you really argue that if you are a black woman that don't like it when black men date outside their race, but you do those things? Think about it. Even the so-called baddest bitch in the game, Beyonce, is wearing blonde hair now. She got a thinner nose than what she had when she first came out. And her skin seems to be a little bit lighter than what it was when she debuted also. What does she look like? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, and some of y'all say, fuck you, Tyrone Magnus. You, you date a white girl anyway. Look, first of all, I personally don't think I was seduced by any subliminal messages. I could have been, but I highly doubt it because I know the reasons why I chose my girl. Like, for example, when I met my girl, I wasn't at the club like where the white bitch is at. You know what I'm saying? I was at the club. I was just dancing, doing my thing. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, and I seen her walk down to the dance floor and make a beeline for a brother. So I knew she liked chocolate. And I was like, ooh, that white girl got a nice booty and she can move. Look at her dancing. Uh-huh. You next. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it was. And I ran into her later at a New Year's Eve party. She happened to be a friend of another friend. The rest is history. We liked each other. We got along. We had stimulating, stimulating conversation. It wasn't all about, I wasn't dancing with her like, ooh, look at your pretty milk of my skin. Get your corn thick hair and your pretty blue green eyes. It wasn't all about that shit, okay? So don't don't come at me with none of that if y'all mad at this video. I'm just basically asking a question and I'm saying this dude made a good point. So if you want us to love black women, I don't have a problem with black women. I love black women, trust me. If me and my girl didn't work out, and y'all happen to see me on the street, and we meet, and you black, and I'm black, we get along, it's on. It ain't got nothing to do with the color to me, all right? So, but I'm trying to say, if you want us to love black women, and especially love black men, women for who you are, you can't send those, those messages, those mixed messages. Think about it for a second. What if black men were lightening their skin? We're getting those jobs, okay? We're wearing blonde hair and then relaxing it and spiking it like white dudes do. You know what I'm saying? Like, what if we were doing all these things that would make us look more Caucasian? You know, say we were dressing like them and then the, the straightening of the hair, the nose, and lightening of our skin. I mean, what, what do you think we're trying to do? If I, I believe, I mean, he made a fucking good point. If sisters want us to love them for who they are, you have to start accentuating the beauty that you were born with, 
okay? You keep your skin brown. You keep your skin dark and nice and smooth like our skin tends to be. We don't age as fast as a lot of other races that have less melanin. You take care of that good skin. You wear your hair the way it came, okay? If it's coarse, so what? That's the hair we came with. Coarse, curly, wavy. We're, we're so mixed over here that we got different types of hair. I have seen so many black women that wear their hair naturally and beautifully that I'm like, wow, you know, because growing up when I was a kid, I grew up in the 80s. It wasn't nothing but light-skinned people on TV with the, with the corn silk hair. All I seen was Prince growing up and, you know, and, you know and, and guys that looked like him and girls that looked like they was his sisters or cousins, you know? El DeBarge and all them, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, come on, Lisa Lisa, Colt Jam, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what, I mean, come on, you know what I mean? So, it, it you're gonna have to come at us more natural. I mean, I have seen some very beautiful black women that is just, uh, like, bam, it's just, it's like shit. She ain't did nothing pop culture to herself, nothing. I've been seeing bad women with the head wraps and the traditional dresses and all that. I'm like, that's a badass islander looking woman. I don't know if you actually from an island, but that's what you look like to me. That's what, you know what I mean? But yeah, y'all, so um, made a good point. Y'all tell me if the brother was wrong. Now, if you a sister that is all totally natural and you mad at it, that's a whole different video. And I've done videos on that before, I think. But <laughs> shoot me questions if y'all want to. Make your comments below. Don't start no damn race war at the bottom, though. You know, I, I get tired of seeing that. Usually starts out kind of peacefully. And somebody say something, ignore the trolls, flag them for spam, block them all that stuff because the trolls is just here to cause problems. But I just want that question answered and my question is, can you do things that make yourself look more Caucasian, Anglo-Saxon, whatever you want to call it, white, and still be mad at your men for dating outside of their race? When, you, you know, do you believe that it's sending a subliminal signal that straight hair or straight wavy hair or blue eyes or slender nose or lighter skin is what's beautiful? Because if it is, then these men are just being programmed daily because almost every black girl I know straightens her hair. Almost every single one. Okay. So why would you think we would be attracted subliminally to hair like mine? That's all I'm saying, okay? Talk to y'all later, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.